Hey y'all, it's me, Ohana Kennedy. What's up, what's up? I'm Uncle, okay? If you've been here before, welcome back. But if not, then welcome. If not, then welcome. Then welcome. Then so, I think the last time that I saw you guys, I didn't have any edges. Okay. Oh my god! I kind of still don't, but it's okay. The Lord is bringing them back. The Lord. The Lord. This video is just going to be like a quick update, I guess, on how I've been, what's been going on, why I disappeared off the face of the earth, including Instagram and YouTube. I was never on Twitter. Snapchat. Before we get started, this is going to be basically a get ready with me, by the way. Even though I'm not going nowhere, I'm, I'm literally going to take this off after I get done with this video and go to sleep. <laughs> like, share, comment, and subscribe. Uh, do whatever you want to do. If you share me, I would love you. Hi, guys. So, this video is basically, um, I don't know. I thought, I literally thought that I would be able to do YouTube while being in school whenever I got back, but then I surely realized, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Specifically what's been going on is school and work because I do work. Did I break that? Oh. Because I do, I do work on campus. So I've been doing school and work the majority of my time. Well, no, the whole time. I've, that's all I've been doing. And I would, I would hang out with friends here and there, but I haven't really had time to. Like friends back home, family members. So far, everything is peach king. Nothing's been going on. Am I still with my boyfriend? Yes, I'm. Yes, I'm still with my boyfriend. Like, <laughs> what would you thought this was? hair update i just took out protective styles i think that has partially to do with why i've been gone i know this sounds like excuses and it's it's exactly that it's, it's exactly excuses but it's a really good excuse because i've only on my channel i've been doing like a bunch of natural hair videos and then i go and get a protective style which is a part of natural hair like natural hair journeys but i just didn't know how to exactly go about doing that. I'm not very creative and I don't protect my hair under it. I, there was really no ideas that came to mind and part of that came from me folk being focused on school and not really having time to come up with different hairstyles, not really having time to actually take care of my hair under it because I really didn't. All I did was spray my scalp with rice water mixed with peppermint oil every day and that's how I grew my edges back a little bit as you can see. Okay, like, but I do want to come back. I've been so inconsistent and my YouTube journey is like, sis, what are you doing? <laughs> Relationship with God. Everything's okay. Cutting all my hair off. Pew. Ah, oh, I'm funny. Let's see, my hair don't like me no more. I tell, I'm telling you, she don't like me no more. Ever since I took her out of these locks that I had, she just don't like me. She does not mess with me on any level. She's tired of me and my mess and she was like i'm out period not coming back i'm joking that's not how she had to that's how that's how i feel though <laughs> in reality my hair is doing pretty fine i had to cut off a lot of um split ends and fairy knots after i took out my protective style because the last time i trimmed my hair which was my video where i blew up my hair was back in august so <laughs> Update, update, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Kennedy! Oh, hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. I totally forgot to have to spray myself. <clears throat> so, <laughs> what's been going on with you guys? I know, like... I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I hope I don't become one of those YouTubers that put my personal life out there. We all know those. there are those type of people out there in the world, period, that put their views out there. That, Stop. that put their 
their personal life out there and then they get kind of mad when people kind of like comment on it um in the past when i would watch youtubers like maybe like in middle school they put their personal life out there and then you have the commentators that would like say something about it and then the, then the people that put their pers their personal life out there they would get mad about it like you better put some respect money like, i don't know something like something like that and but the whole thing is you put it out there for them to comment on so they're going to comment on it so i just kind of get confused when people get mad when other people comment about their business yeah i'm just saying that's, that's all i'm saying i'm glad i can say these things now as a small youtuber because don't nobody really care about what i'm saying so it's not like i'm a big youtuber like jackie Ina or dara and ken or um african beauty out here saying these kinds of things to where a lot of people can like drag them because they're hating on what they're saying or they're hating on where they are you know so i'm kind of glad i can say these things as a small youtuber there are perks to being a small youtuber now let me tell you let me tell you okay after i finish my eyebrows okay so there are benefits like i said to being a small youtuber a very extremely small youtuber like me number one you're not criticized for everything you say. In ways, it can be a good thing because when you get big and when it almost you have, and when you have multiple haters, then you know like, okay, then you're like doing something. I'm not saying that you should intentionally go on YouTube and and say things that will trigger somebody, but if you're just minding your business and then like, you know, all of a sudden just people come like, mm, she thinks she all that, blase, blase, then like, you know, you know you're doing something like, but not say she don't really say nothing she don't really do nothing she's about her business and her coin and her family so it's kind of like that or people like uh jackie Ina. you know she speaks her mind she do what she do and she goes she cuts her coins and goes about her day like just don't be like trolls on the internet when you become if you're trying to be a youtuber and if you're trying to be like some kind of social media influencer just don't be a troll that's all i ask just please don't be a troll because a lot of people we don't like trolls like that. Some people may find it funny, some people may not. I don't personally find it funny because it's like, you could say like, like something that's like really funny or like that's not really that serious, but then once you touch on serious to topics and stuff like that, then that's when it's like, all right, now you're kind of like, crossing the line here, <laughs> calm down, <laughs> shut up, <laughs> you know, you know? Another thing is, this is like your time to learn how you are as a YouTuber and how your craft is some people start off small some people start off immediately big this looks crazy <laughs> i don't even know if this is my foundation color i'm a, i'm not a beauty guru by the way this is not my thing but here we are some people start off big like uh celebrities that have been on tv shows already but people like me regular regular smuggler people your everyday people wow this is really light on my forehead people like me um, we get to have the time to figure out, okay, so this is what I want to do. This is what my audience like. This is what they don't like. This is how I like to edit my videos. Blase, blase. My consistency is not up to par right now. It is not. I'm just going to be honest with myself because I know you guys know it. I know it. I just need to say it. Hi, I'm Kennedy. Um, <laughs> I'm not consistent with YouTube. <laughs> There you go. I think those are the only main things I can think of right now. Right now. How you doing? Ah! What's up? You know, my eyebrows look crazy, but. My phone is trifling. Like this one ties into the first one, but you avoid, or you don't really have to deal with any hate comments from other people. Like I've dealt with one or two on my channel. It's never been like a, like a whole, abundance of hate going on in my channel because i'm not big enough nor do i i don't even think i say anything to offend anybody because these are just my opinions or my views and most of the time when i'm doing my hair i'm just speaking on my hair it's not like i'm speaking on somebody else's life like i literally took off from instagram for four or five months now um because i i felt like i didn't I didn't see the need of being on there. For me, I had to go like a hiatus, which I do very frequently. I try to like 
Like, if I feel like social media is consuming me, then that's time for me to stop. Like, if I'm comparing, constantly comparing myself, which is a killer, even the Bible says, don't compare yourself. Do not compare yourself because your plan is not the same as this person's plan. You're probably not supposed to do the same thing that this other person is doing, so do not compare yourself. So I would have to take a bunch of hiatuses off of Instagram throughout the years to stop that because then comes the depression, then comes the anxiety and stuff like that. So, yeah. I guess that's one of the reasons why I also left here also. Yeah, please. Because I was comparing myself to people like Hafkin Beauty, who's been doing it, who's been doing YouTube for about four plus years. And I've been doing it for a long time, but I've just been so inconsistent. If I was consistent, I'd be way further than I am now. And the reason why I get inconsistent is because I'll be on the move. I'll be grinding, you know what I'm saying? I'll be posting every week. But then I'll notice people are noticing me. And on one hand, it's amazing because it's like, they see me and I see them and I appreciate them. Thank you. On the other hand, it's like, oh no. <laughs> they have expectations for me. I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. I just don't, I don't know, I don't know. Free Shavaka do. Sometimes I feel like my eyes are big, and then sometimes I feel like they're beady. I don't know what they are. The Lord knows, though. The Lord knows, so that's all that matters. But yeah, pretty much to sum it up, that's why I be disappearing all the time. Because <laughs> I just feel like, I feel like I have a lot of expectations when people start to notice my uh, quote-unquote creativity or how I go about things on YouTube. <laughs> And that scares me half to death because then that means I would have to be committed and I don't like letting people down. So right now, while I'm a small YouTuber, this is the best time to be inconsistent. Even though for some people, they'll be like, no, it's not because you want to get bigger. You want to, you know, get paid on YouTube, blase, blase. No, let me say something. Listen, I don't do YouTube for the money because first of all, I'm not even getting paid. And I know that's a long ways away. And second of all, I do it to make people laugh. <laughs> In the kitchen, Woo! whipping, whipping. Woo! I forgot what I was talking about. That's why I stopped talking. But just advice: if you're ever gonna do YouTube or if you're ever gonna do anything in life, just make sure you're doing. <coughs> <coughs> Woo! Powder. <sighs> just make sure you're doing it for the reasons that you want. I know that like uh, this does not apply to like regular minimum wage jobs or whatever. For instance, I work at a convenience store here and there. I don't. Of course, I don't love working at a convenience store. That's not my dream. I'm doing it because I need the money. But if you're doing something like this, which is optional, YouTube, and you already have a job, just make sure you're doing it for the right reasons, which is you want to. This is a passion. You like editing videos. You like making people smile. You like making people think. You like making people cry. Maybe you like making films, uh, short films that um, tug at the heartstrings or something like that. Like, do... Just make sure you're, or maybe you just like talking about other people's business and that's your passion is other people's business. Don't do it because you know they get paid and being the life of a YouTuber is easy because it's not easy. I feel like I've talked about this on my channel before, but I'm going to say it again because a lot of, not a lot of people, but a few people have asked me and they always go straight to the money. I'm like, do you really think I'm getting paid right now? First of all, second of all, don't do it because of money, but also, um, your subscribers can tell when you're doing it for the money. It's a postman. And I'm going to do my makeup because I'm talking too much and my phone storage is running out. So, ah, hold on, hold on, everybody, just hold on. I'm on a ring light. I'm tired of using my lamp. I'm on a ring light, an actual ring light. But yeah, man, all I'm saying is don't do it for the money. Please don't. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> I said what I said. Uh, Mimi Leaks. She said that. She said it like that one time. It was funny to watch to that that uh, particular reunion. Uh. <laughs> okay, now onto the hair portion. I love my eyelashes, don't get me wrong. They are um, a good length, but you can't really tell because they go down like a horse. So, <laughs> okay, so this is it. You're not that cute and your hair is uneven. You look dusty. If you like this video, please 
please go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe really i mean <laughs> some more videos down here go on one go on one